Alright, so I just picked up this lens. This is Sony 18 to 105 f4 lens. And the reason why I picked this lens actually is because the lens that I'm currently shooting on, this is a Sigma 60mm f1.4, alright? But the problem with this lens, it has no image stabilization. And also the camera that I'm using, I'm using a Sony a6400, no image stabilization as well, right? So you can imagine the, the type of shaky video these two combinations can provide, right? So i uh, been looking to like, uh, kind of like solve that. I purchased the gimbal, but I don't really use the gimbal. And uh, especially for what I'm doing as well, like I do a lot of travel vi videos and I move around a lot. I'm not gonna be walking around with a gimbal, right? So. I end up picking up this lens for the image stabilization and also for the zoom capability, right? Because this lens as well don't have any zoom in it. Like you have to zoom like within the settings and uh, that's something that I don't like doing. So yes, that's why I picked up this lens. Uh, I did some research like what's the best budget um, all around lens, right? For this camera that I have right now. And this is the one that I kept saying, the Sony. 18 to 105. So I'll be traveling to Philly today, helping a friend move out. And uh, yes, gonna put this to a test and see if this truly what I need for traveling, right? When it comes to like photo, video creation and test the stabilization as well. So yes, let's do it. So we're in Philly now and it took us about 2 hours 45 minutes and some change. Uh, one thing I hear about Philly actually is this, that's um, ticket people man, they don't play. This guy out here giving out tickets here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that would give me ticket if I wasn't in there, look at that. I kind of want to dislike these people but uh, then again they're doing their job right. Like if we don't have them then people just going to be parking recklessly or be in places where they're not supposed to be. Uh, it's just a pain in the ass when sometimes <laughs> your car got towed, like, or you got the nice tickets on it. That's just gonna mess up your whole day. Let me get outside and show you guys what the streets of Philly look like. It looks pretty nice, man. Like, I've seen, like, so many, like, Asian buildings, and which is something we don't have much of in Maryland or Virginia. You probably do have, like, a whole lot of them, but I just haven't explored that city much, but... <music> Tissues, uh, I'm going out to look for some right now because 
we need that, man. Because right now, I feel like I'm in the desert after all that work we've done so far. So hopefully I can find something that's still open then. Bring some back. One thing I don't like about this place is the elevators. It takes so long to um, come up here. And we're only in the third floor. And the uh, crazy thing is they got like four of them. Look at one, two, three, four. But just see how long they're about to take, man. A couple minutes. It's almost like a minute now. I'm still waiting. So let me hit this again. Still. Still up and coming yeah. And my battery's about to die, so uh, I'm just about to turn my camera on so I can vlog when I get outside, but screw this stuff, man. This is cool. Nice art piece right there. Toilet the paper solved. I actually asked front desk him to give me this because trade is just closed. And we got some water from 7 Eleven, so we built for the night. See, always gotta ask, man. That's one thing that I've learned. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Because if you don't ask, you don't know if you're gonna get it. Or you don't know if they're gonna give it to you. And sometimes people wanna keep, but they don't know what you want, so you gotta ask. Well, I'm a rambling right there. Is done looking nice, but yeah, everything is coming to life, man. I've always wanted to get me a studio, right? But I got so much stuff, like, it's just it's just impossible, man. I always used to think I'm a minimalist, but when I moved, that's when I realized, nah, man, not really. I got so many bunch of stuff, random stuff that I don't even use regularly, and I just love collecting stuff, right? I just love collecting new pieces and over time like they just pile up but at the same time like it's okay to not be a minimalist right because you're gonna have like your own taste the main purpose is to like have your living space like very comfortable and make it very easy for you to stay there for a very long time especially like during times that we live right now with the pandemic going on most people like leaving their home Obviously, everybody leaving their home, but most people walk from their home. That's what I meant to say. So, um, you're going to spend so much time in your home now. So, now you got to make it very com comfortable when you come there. So, you can focus and get stuff done. And also relax, right? But, this place is very nice. So, um, what we want to do next day, um, just relax and maybe uh, go around the city. Spend some time and, yeah. I'll show you guys.
finally made it to Virginia. Oh man, this is like the longest day I've ever had, ma. In a very long time. Like, um, getting through the trains, having to learn where to stop and where to go, and also asking people all around. It's kind of fun though, but I don't like it, man. I don't like this process. That's why I don't like um, public transportation. But at least I'm finally home. I'm about to get home, rest, and you know, hit the gym, and get ready for the next day. Also, um, maybe, um, give you a, not maybe, also give you guys uh, my opinion on this land. So um, this this has been a pretty good uh, weekend as far as um, getting like a full point of view of the land. So I would say wanna check the footages and show you guys. Alright, made it back home safe and sound, right? But yes, I've gotten through the footage I took with this lens and doesn't answer my questions that I posed at the beginning of this video when it comes to stabilization and also the zoom capabilities, right? I would say yes. The stabilization is pretty good on this lens. I mean, compared to this one on my camera right now, the Sigma 60mm that I'm shooting on right now, it's a whole lot more stable, especially when it comes to like driving shot, right? When the car is moving, this one gives me like a very stable images. I don't even need to add stabilization effect on the videos when I was editing them for the most case. So that one was definitely a win. When it comes to the zoom, that's the biggest win, man. And you guys can see pretty much some of the shot, right? That I was taking, example, like the two ladies like on top of the building, right? Taking photos or whatever they were doing, right? I was able to like zoom all the way up, up that building and get that footage like when i was standing down there with my eye view i couldn't see like nothing that was going on up there i was just seeing like two little people like standing up there so this definitely a huge 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 win for that and that's definitely something that i had i had missed in a very long time with this lens that i'm shooting on right now so yeah this is gonna be very versatile to capture certain shots and all that the only lack that this may have the slight lack that it may have compared to this lens is this one the images are more crispy whilst this one um uh, not like that pretty much but they're still pretty good and i will leave some photos i took on the screen as well so you guys can see them but yeah that's pretty much it about this lens i hope you guys find value in this content I hope you enjoy the vlog as well if you watch through it. And I also hope I help you guys answer the question about this lens that I had as well. Is it the best all around travel lens for the Sony cameras? And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Actually, stay for a minute. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And, uh, yes, that's it. Bye.